I'm so glad oh, yeah. God gave me another chance. Say, well, oh, he did. You need to just move on. You need to get you ain't moving on. 
It's just you remembering, yes, reflecting yes, on where, where he comes from. Yes, but I tell you, I thank God to take us. I'm saved today. Yes, I'm yes, saved if I had the Holy Ghost in my life and I desire y'all pray. Yes, I tell you, I just thank God for God being yes, good. I thank God for the Sunday yes, school note this morning. Yes, God has been good to us. Yes, and I'm going to tell you all something. It's time out to start praying in church now. Yes, it is. It's time out for God might catch you while you're out there. While you're playing, you say one thing and do another thing. God ain't studying that hard, hooping and hollering. Amen. God wants you to live right. Amen. You come into church and hoop and holler all you want. Okay. And die and still go to hell. So you ain't fooling nobody. You ain't even fooling yourself no more. But you ain't fooling nobody. You gotta be real or be still. Amen. Cause God, 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 God calling for real people. Amen. And time is it's getting short, y'all. We ain't gonna live as long as we already done live. I'll never, I never live another 74 years. I'll ne I never, I never make it another 74 years. So if I'm gonna get the thing, if I ain't got it right in 74 years, I ain't gonna get it right. So it's, it's time for us to stop playing the truth. But I tell you, I just thank God for all of y'all being here this morning. Amen. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, I will listen to Kenya. God is a healer, y'all. God is a healer. When I got saved, I used to cry myself to sleep. I, I'd be hurting so bad, my head would be hurting. Hurting, pulling, pulling all down in my neck and stuff. And sometimes I'd cry myself to sleep. But I tell you, right, right back, right over there across the street, at Pastor Blue. And went to the doctor, they didn't know what was wrong with me. But uh, I was starting out the church. Did they were beating them drums so hard. I got up and we're gonna leave the church. Got to the door and God told me to go back and get in prayer. Jesus. But by the time I got back to the altar, now the crop was already done coming, coming down. Beat them. And every crop them, they started praying. I tell you, God delivered me that night. God delivered me that night. God sent a healing in the mills. And I said, God, I tell you, it ain't never come back. That's been 40 some years ago, y'all. So God gave me another chance. God gave me another chance. So I tell you, I just thank God. I know God can do it. You know, sometimes God wants you to go to the doctor. Let the doctor tell you what the problem is. Then the saints know what to pray for. Amen. You can pray for some things you got to call by name. Some things ain't nothing but a demon. And you got to call that demon by name. But God is good. We all going through something. We ain't going through one thing, we going through another. But God's grace and mercy is official. I'm going to tell y'all, God's grace and mercy is official. We say it. But when the time comes, we better know it. We better be able to stand no matter what come or go. They keep saying in Sunday school, the people is watching. People is watching. And they watching. They trying to see if you going to stand on what you believe in. But a woman told me in my faith, she said, you testify mine. She said, but we come back and see if you going to stand on what you say. My husband did, but they come back and See, was I gonna stand on what I say I believe in? But God is good. God is good. We sometimes we go through a test, y'all. But it is temporary. A test is temporary. We all got to go through something. I say, whatever you go through, you can take it and help somebody. Else. If you're help. Now some people pride won't let them help somebody. Cause they don't want nobody to know where they be. But I've been in the bad. Me too. I'm in the bad. I've been in the bad. I'm on bone say. I was a sinner too. So I've been in the bad. So I can help somebody in some area. And you can help somebody in some area. As I said this morning at Sunday school, sometimes we want people to think that our marriage was on the mountaintop when we got married. It might have been there for two or three weeks, but then it dropped back down in the bag. And we had to build it back up. See, sometimes people want you to thank them. But it's not true. It's not true. You, you, you didn't get married and, and get that little white 
house on the hill with the white picket fence. It took something for you to get where you are. So, so God is God is good. So it's gonna take some for us to get to heaven, y'all. He, you know, we keep saying he he, he styled marriages after the church, and he did. If you can go through a marriage, you can go through the church. People don't believe that, but you can. And everybody ain't to be married, y'all. All right, amen. God said, "Marry him. You can marry. You can marry God." You can be married to God. In the midnight hour, God will rock you. Yes, he will. He'll, he'll rock you. Yes, he will. And sometimes you want to be by yourself anyway. Yes. <laughs> you round somebody all the time. You can't, you can't get in contact with God like you want to. If you're sitting up around somebody all the time. But sometimes you want to be by yourself so you can think straight. Amen. So, but God, God been good to us. God been good to Glenn Chapel, y'all. Yes, 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 yes. Now, if y'all don't enjoy being back in the building, I'm going to tell you, Pastor McFadden, he enjoyed this He said, I enjoy being in this building. See, I said, they ain't told me to come yet. But I'm just waiting on them to tell me to come, and I'm going to enjoy myself. And I tell you, he enjoyed himself. I say, God is good to us, y'all. God is good. And see, some of y'all might not know the whole story. But some people thought we weren't going to get back in this building. That's true. Oh, some people thought we weren't going to get back here. They said, mm -hmm. well, they take us so long, but they ain't going to get back in there. Uh -huh. Look at God. Bishop said, we going back in that church, Jeremy, if I have to spend my own money. Uh -huh. He said, we going back in the church. Amen. So God is good, y'all. Yes. God is good. And I'm going to tell you, I told this for whom. God touched the insurance people. At the end, they came down in day price. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I mean, the insurance company went up in day price. Amen. And the people who were doing the work came down in day price. Right. So it was enough of money to cover everything. Amen. Think about this. Think about this. So God, 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 I, I, yeah, y'all don't know it, but I'm happy. I'm happy. A young lady had, we was in the uh, women's convention, she said, you know, I did not know, she said, all this day, that that church was burnt black and wood. She said, I thought it was just a little song. She said, but I seen how bad that church was burnt. She said, that body swept through with it. I said, indeed. She said, I, 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 I never thought it was that bad. So when you look at it that bad, you never thought it could be thick. Mm. But God got a rim. God. God, God got a rim for everything that we need. Whatever else we need, God gonna supply. I believe that God gonna supply. I said God got checks that don't be ripped. He got money that don't be spent. He got money all the things be came. I said God got rich people. They don't know what to do with their money. Tell God to turn it loose and let them give you some money. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting on my ten ten job. See, I'm getting a little bit, but I'm waiting on my ten ten. I, I, I just believe that God gonna give me everything I need, and He supply my need. God supply my need. I don't have that much, but God supply my need. I used, when I first got saved, I'm going to tell y'all this and I'm going to go on with a minute. When I first got saved, I said, God, I just keep asking you for things. And then you ain't getting me. I said, everybody keep telling me that you'll give. All I got to do is ask. And that's what I was doing. I would ask. And I went in the kitchen. And the good Lord spoke to me. He said, I supplied your needs for this day. Okay. And I said, I started thinking, yeah, I got this, I got that, I got this, I got this. Okay. He said, I supplied your needs for this thing. Okay. And some of your want. Okay. He didn't say he'll give us everything we want. Uh, he didn't even say he'll give us everything we need. Jesus. But he said he'll apply your needs as you need it. And sometimes we don't need things right then. Because yes. we'll get the big head. Okay. Yes, you take a person that never had a car. 
when they get a car, they don't know when to sit down. They just ride, 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 ride. Go, they ain't used to that car. They, the bishop used to say, they get a hundred dollars, they get them in one dollar piece. And they'll keep pulling it out. Like they got a lot of money, they got them in one dollar piece. And it's a hundred dollars, but they feel like they got a lot of money, but they got a roll in. But God will supply our need. And I tell you, I just thank God, I thank God. Thank God for each and every one of y'all. Amen. Thank God for you already and what he gonna do. And I thank God for the men's, men's series. Amen. I, I just, you know, me, I just thank God for everything that God has been doing for us. Because God has been doing great things. Great things. And we go to and for. He's been shielding us. He's been protecting us. He's been taking care of us. Some been in and out in the hospital. But God, grace and mercy, boy. That's what God, grace and mercy, y'all. Sometimes people say, well, oh, I can take this sick into jail. But God said no. no. God said no. So, no. you know, y'all y'all be encouraged. Uh -huh. The devil can't do no more than the, the, the Lord allowed him to do. That's right. God helped to step back mm -hmm. and allow the devil to church. Right. And sometimes the devil, he let the devil touch you to get your attention. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's what God said. I've been talking to you down through the years. And you ain't paying me no change. I'm going to step back and I'm going to let the devil get hold of you. And I'll get your change. Okay. And that's what happens to some of you. But God's grace and mercy, y'all. God's grace and mercy. I'm going to tell you, I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm glad to be here standing this morning. I tell you, when I got up yesterday, one of my feet and legs were hurting so bad. Lord have mercy. Y'all think, think I didn't walk and you should have seen me then. <laughs> but God, grace and mercy. God, grace and mercy. Bishop used to say, if I ever get here and get in the pulpit, I got it. I got it. I learned that from Bishop Bale. Sister Bale said she came home and the man was laying in the yard. And she said, he told us if you can get me up and get me in the car and get me to the church. If I ever make it to the pool, I'm all right. Oh, she said, she drove up to the car, got him in the car. Got him over to the church and got him in the pool. Bit. She said, that man put down a piece of that. Yeah. And God, and God is good. Yes, yes. Amen. You know, sometimes you got a prayer room. Sometimes you can pray better in some places than you oh, can. Oh, yes, yes. See, like back when I first got saved, my prayer room was in my car. Right. I was coming down Robinson Street one day, and I know that thing I had thought up both hands and jumped my hands off the steering wheel. And I said, I'm losing my mind now. Right. And then I had to get myself together. Well, hey, hey, hey. if you keep praying, both hands will go up, y'all. Yeah. Yes, I, 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 I said, this might be my prayer room, but I got to learn to keep my hands off the steering wheel. You got to, you got to pray. And keep your hands on the sturdy wheel, y'all. Yeah. But God is good. Right. We're going to go to the uh, second yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. He said, y'all don't praise God, he's going to praise him for yeah. He said, make some noise up in here. Yeah. Amen. We're going to go to Hezekiah, y'all. Sister Jackson going to read for us. And y'all done heard this a lot. But I'm, I'm going to do what God tells me to do. Amen. Amen. Second, Amen. Second Kings, the 20th yeah. chapter. Yes, Lord. In those days was Hezekiah sick See unto death. Mm -hmm. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, yeah. Thus saith the Lord, Yes, Lord. Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Now let me, wait a minute. Now here's the guy. It didn't say what here's the guy had did. Uh -uh. It didn't say. But here's the guy here got out of God's will. Because he said, set your house in order. It let you know that here's the guy here got out of God's will. But here's the guy had another sense to know that he had somebody to go back to. God tells us sometimes, set your house in order. Don't do that, Morrison. Morrison, go this way, Morrison. Morrison, go that way. And it's up to me to do what he said. But when I don't do what he said, my house is out of order. Then I got to get my house back in order, y'all. 
Okay, come on. Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I beseech thee, O I Lord. Thee. Remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. Yeah. And have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept so. And it came to pass before Isaiah was gone out into the middle court. Yeah. That the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Turn again. Turn. Yeah. And tell Hezekiah the captain of my people. My people. Thus saith the Lord, Thus the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day, thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. And I will add to thy days fifteen years. Uh -huh. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Amen. And Isaiah said, Take a lump of figs. Lump and they took and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. Mm -hmm. And Hezekiah said unto Isaiah, What shall the sign be that the Lord will heal me? Uh -huh. And that I shall go up unto the house of the Lord the third day. And Isaiah said, This sign shall thou have of the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing that he has spoken. Right. Shall the shadow go forward ten degrees, mm -hmm. or back ten degrees? Mm -hmm. And Hezekiah answered, it is a light thing. Now the individual say a light thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> For the shadow to go down 10 degrees. Uh -huh. yeah. Nay, but let the shadow return back 10 degrees. Okay. And Isaiah the prophet cried unto the Lord. And he brought the shadow 10 degrees back mm -hmm. by which it had gone down in the dial of air. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh. Here's the guy. Furnish your faith, y'all. Yes, sir. Now, sometimes we get sick. Uh, we have a situation, problem, or whatever. It didn't, they didn't really say that Hezekiah was sick. But Hezekiah had a situation in his life that he needed to get straight with God. And God sent the prophet to Hezekiah and told Hezekiah to get his house in order. And if he did, he was going to die and not live. But Hezekiah, I can imagine in my mind. Here's the guy say, I got the faith. I don't have been in church with God no enough. Oh, yeah. So when I go back to him, he's gonna hear my cry. Hey. And here's the guy went to the Lord in faith. And he cried out to the Lord. Right. Right. And God sent the deliverance right. to him the guy. Every time a prophet come along, it don't mean that God will change his mind.
But he had a little doubt in his mind. Yeah, that time gonna go back. Yeah. But that let you know that God can do anything. God can change anything. All God got to do is speak the word. We don't have to go through a whole lot of things. But if God speaks the word, it got to be. It got to be. Sometimes God tells us there's something wrong. And all we got to do if we don't believe it, go back to him and say, God, show me a sign. Sometimes people say you don't need to question God. But sometimes we need to go back to God and say, God, give me a sign. I don't quite understand what you're trying to get me to know. So give me a sign. And I tell you, God will give you a sign. We're God. God heard him. Oh, here's a guy had a sincere prayer. And we got to have a sincere prayer. I think about sometimes when the woman went to the well. A lot of people say a lot of things. But I believe in my mind that that woman had made up her mind that she wanted to change her life. Change in our life, go to receive God. And that woman, when God told her that you give a drink of that water, she would need no more. If you give a drink of Jesus, you don't need no more. But God, we got to break the light out of sin. God can do it. God can do it. All you got to do is just punish your faith. Sometimes when we go to God, the enemy got a way of telling you, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. See, the enemy is whistling in one ear, but God is in the other ear. And you got to know God. God's grace and mercy. See, I know God ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. I know God ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. Be the devil talking to me, telling me that God ain't gonna do it. Yeah. But God, I'm gonna stand on your word. Sometimes God got to give you a scripture yeah. for you to go back and read over and over again. Sometimes He'll have you quote that scripture. I was sick, y'all, and I didn't know what was wrong with me. I had been going to my doctor, and my doctor would put me on different kind of antibiotics. But I went to another doctor. And he told me, you've been breathing in mold and meal too. And it had got in my lungs. When that man read me a scripture, he said, whatever else in you, this is going to be strong enough to knock it out of But I wouldn't have went back to the doctor if it weren't for Bishop. Bishop said, check the man. That medicine ain't doing you no good. You sick. I know you sick. All I can do was just lay down. But I had breathed in the mold and the meal to in the air. And a man asked me, he said, is any on your house? I said, no. I said, but some is right down the street, all the way around his house. He 
said, well, every time you go in and out your door, you breathe it in, and it's going in your lungs. But God, God, sometimes we go to the doctor, and he's the right doctor, y'all. But if we go to the right doctor, I say, God, direct me that day. When I got there, I didn't see my doctor. I seen another doctor. And that doctor knows what was wrong. He said, what are we in? I'm giving you something strong enough. It's going to knock out the mold and the meal too and anything else in your body. He said, in a week you'll be clear. In a week, if all week was up, I was clear. But God, y'all, we got to put God first. We got to put God first. I wonder sometimes, I say, was well, Hezekiah sick? Mental sick or physical sick? You know, some of us is mental sick. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Amen. And I ain't talking about crazy either. Okay. When you're always thinking bad things, uh -huh. you want to do something to somebody. Uh -huh. I heard Brother Donna say this morning, I believe with him, say he ain't never thought about suicide. I said, well, me either. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I thought about killing somebody. Oh, I thought about killing somebody. How I could do it and how I could get away with it. But I ain't thought about killing me. Amen. See, I'm more honest than y'all. Y'all don't thought about it, too. No, y'all thought about it, too. Okay. I thought about doing it and how I could get away with it. <laughs> so nobody couldn't put me there. Yep. And I won't hope to be there. Okay. Yeah. I don't that. Amen. Yes, Lord. See, I'm saying. See, I know what I'm saying for. Some people say they say, but they don't know what they say for. Uh -huh. I'm saying all that mess that the devil had in there. Yes. 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 I was full of it, Sister Wright. And if I wouldn't return, yes, I don't believe I'd be here today. Me neither. I don't believe I'd be here today. I've been in a hole. Well, one way in and one way out. Yes. So we're shooting on that side and cutting on that side. And I'm trying to make it to the door. Yeah. And you know how you get down on your knees yes. and you're trying to crawl to the door. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. I know what it's in a day. That's why I can live right. I ain't got nothing. I tell people I ain't got nothing to hide. I don't care about you knowing where I be. Me neither. But I ain't got no more. Amen. I'm a new man. Hey, glory to God. I'm a new man. You can say what you want of what I did back then. I ain't gonna get mad. Me neither. Go see it and see. And see it'll take your mother than you ever want to go. See it'll destroy me, you, and anybody else. Yes. And when you try to cover up the sin that you was in, it's because you're still there. Right. Say it again. Why are you gonna try to cover up something you don't come out? God knows. Yes. I say, I ain't got nothing to hide. Me neither. I tell people, you ain't got to call me when you come to my house. No. I ain't got nothing to hide. If Major let you come in, I'm going to let you come in. That's it right there. Amen. We sometimes we forget where we come from. Yes. But we had to turn, y'all. We had to turn. I didn't get saved when God first started calling me. God was tugging on me for a while. And I know it was God. After I had went and talked to Mother Mary, one of the Clinton Chapel members told me, he said, God don't talk to the devil. She, I went and talked to her, thought she was going to tell me what was going on. She said, well, I'm going to tell you right now, the Lord don't talk to Sarah. Hmm. But that thing kept tugging at me. I said, I got to talk to somebody that's going to tell me the truth. Right. I ain't heard a lot about Mother Murphy. I said, Mother Murphy, going to tell me the truth. Yes. And I went to see her. And she said, if the, if the Lord don't never talk to sinners, they'll never get saved. Yes. He said, you got to start talking to them before they get saved. Okay. Before they come in. And the Lord talking to some of us. Oh, yes. But we just feel like we're not ready. Some of you feel like you're too young. But ain't nothing worth you going to hell for. Nothing. Ain't nothing worth you going to hell for. 
If somebody ain't too old anyway, we out there talking about the word. Amen. 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 You too old? I don't know. You get a certain age, just time to come in anyway if you ain't ready. Yes, sure is. You right. Yeah, one foot in the grave and one foot out. <laughs> so it's time for us to, to come in. Glory. All we got to do is do this thing is we got to go to the Lord, lay out a complaints out before him, and turn. And turn. Sometimes people think it's hard to be saved. Mm. But saved is just a clean way of living. That's all it is. I don't want to go to places I used to go. I don't want to do the things that I used to do. Mm. It's just a clean way of living. Some people say, well, it's hard to live right. No, it ain't. But it ain't hard for me to live right. You know why? I separated myself from the world. I don't dip and dab in the world no more. I don't hang with the world. When you're still hanging with them, that's when it's hard to live right. Because yeah. you got a pull at you. But I don't have a pull at me. I know how to keep myself separated. And as long as we stay here, we're going to have to deal with this other man. Yes. We don't have to deal with it. But that's our job. To show them that Jesus lives. Yes. That's our job. When they see us, they're supposed to see Jesus. Some of y'all laughed at something that I told y'all that the woman was calling me in the drugstore. She said, man, man. I turned around. She said, I know that you was a holy woman from looking in the back of it. Somebody ought to know you're holy. Somebody ought to know that you live right. Mm -hmm. See, we'll take down for one another. Mm -hmm. But you don't hold to do that. Tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. You see me making a mistake, come to me and say, now, sister, mom. Say, now, saints don't hold to act like me. Saints don't do things like me. And you giving me the opportunity to get it together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people make mistakes and they don't know they're making mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sometimes we can do wrong and don't know we're doing wrong. I mean to know if you're mad. If we could control our mind, y'all, we would have the battle of one. Because sometimes things come to my mind and I have to pray. And I say, Lord, I ain't got no good to think in this way. Me too. Oh, y'all know things come to your mind about your sisters and your brothers in church. Oh, they act in front of the day. They didn't you see them, they didn't even walk by me and speak to them. They never tell you. Okay. Did you hear how so and so was singing today? Oh, they didn't sing too good today. They must be got a problem. Mm -hmm. We all got problems. We all got problems. But God is good to us. God is good to us. We're going to get ready to come in. Do uh, everyone like prayer? We're going to pray. Thank you for joining us here at Clinton Chapel of Praise Virtual Church. We prayed that a song that was sang. Perhaps the sermon that was preached or the lesson that was taught was a blessing to you and yours. You may not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and we would like to take this time to extend him to you. The Bible declares that if you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that God raised Christ from the dead, that you shall be saved. That's right, it's just that easy believing and confessing. I would like to tell you that this way may not be easy. Therefore, we recommend that you find yourself a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. There's strength among saints, and you cannot live this life by yourself. Now, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take a moment to pray to God. Some people say, I don't know how to pray, but it's just this simple. Just take time and have a small conversation with God and tell God that you're tired of the way you're living, you're tired of the things you're doing. And believe me, I promise you that this day will be the best day and it will begin a walk that you will never regret. I'm gonna pray for you now. Father, we thank you for that soul that has just chosen you to be their Lord and Savior. Father, we want you to do a new work within them, clean them, change them, and God, let them have the desire to further themselves with you. And God, we thank you, and we love you, and we know that all things 
and we give all things are done by you and through you, and we give your name praise. And believe me, saints, now the angels in heaven are rejoicing because you came to Christ. And not only are the angels rejoicing, but I and we here at Clinton Chapel are rejoicing along with you. Now listen to me. You take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Shalom. You may join us here at Clinton Chapel of Praise for any of our services. Every Sunday at 9.45 a.m. we have Sunday School. At 11 a.m. morning worship. At Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. we have prayer and Bible study. And if you would like to donate, you may do so by cash app dollar sign CCOP Church. Thank you for worshiping with us.